Okay, so what we're moving for is a silver play button. Um, we made this out of 24 hour dry clay. So rather than make it, it's a little bit wonky. After it dried, it didn't, I didn't sand it back enough. So what I'm gonna do this time, rather than use the clay, I'm gonna show you how to make it out of MDF. So we've got 12 mil, 12 mil MDF wood, which we're gonna stick the logo to, which we've downloaded off the MacBook. Uh, we've downloaded it, we've printed it here. We're gonna stick it on with the contact adhesive to the board, and then we're gonna use some really thick, well, some very coarse 40 grit sandpaper, and then we're gonna finish it off with 120 fine grit, so we can get the desired shape that we're looking for. You wanna protect yourself from the smell, uh, but also when you're sanding the MDF, you actually wanna use this, it's very bad for you. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it down. So spray one, spray one side, put it aside so it can go tacky. Then spray the wood. Again, give it a couple of minutes so it goes tacky. Doesn't take long at all. Oop. What we're going to do is going to send it back to the shape, which you can see the outline. Okay, so we're going to need to tidy it up a little bit, but that's the basic shape out of off the belt sander. Okay, so the next video is going to be using this tool to sand out the center triangle, so we can get some shape in there, and also the overall curve of the play button we'll be doing as well. So we'll be curving it this way, and also we'll be curving it this way, and then rounding the edges to make it look like a real play button. Then we'll start sanding, well, yeah, sanding, ready for paint, for priming, and we'll go with the gold chrome paint.